birthday, but hold on. Get down. Thank Happy you. birthday, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> what you eating there? Cornflakes. Cornflakes. So, we've had a rough couple of days here in our house, haven't we? Yeah. So, it is Austin's birthday, January 13th. My baby is eight years old now. Um, he is staying home from school because we were pretty sick yesterday. Austin had a stomach bug yesterday. He was throwing up most of the day, not feeling good. He says he's feeling better now. Might be, his stomach might be a little bit upset, but he says he's feeling better now that he's eating. But um, we're not going to send him to school just to be on the safe side. I'd like them to be, you know, vomit free for 24 hours before I send them back to school. So he's going to stay home with me today. Maybe not the best birthday ever. I'm sure that he'd much rather be in school celebrating with his friends, but better safe than sorry, right? This is actually good because you said I need to um, decorate the cake with you too. Yeah, you can help me decorate the cake so, as long as you're not feeling icky. So, we are going to spend Austin's birthday much the same way we spent Robbie's. If you watched um, the vlog on Robbie's birthday, we're just going to celebrate here at home. I'm going to make him a special cake that he chose and a special dinner that he chose. Um, it's still very early though. It's not even 8 o'clock yet, so I'm still kind of half awake. I haven't even had coffee yet. Austin woke up, like I said, complaining of a bit of a bit of a belly ache, but says he's feeling better now that he's eaten, so that's good. Clearly, I have laundry to take care of behind me, um, but before I do any of that, I need coffee. All right, guys. Well, we are getting ready to make Austin's birthday cake, and we he I found this cake mix on clearance at Aldi as well as. Um, this frosting and Austin's favorite colors are actually red and green. He doesn't mind having a kind of Christmassy type cake, do you? So this is his birthday cake. So um, we're going to bake up this funfetti cake and then we're going to decorate it when it's all cooled with... What are we going to decorate it with, dude? All these sprinkles. 800,000 sprinkles, huh? I want to show them all. Go ahead. Oh, you can see them all at the same time, too. So, luckily, Austin was, well, not luckily that he was ill yesterday, but luckily, um, he's home today, and he's not feeling bad, so he gets to help with the cake, which he's very excited about. So, we're going to get this baked up. Austin, you want to pull out some ingredients? We need what? three eggs. I'll just get the whole carton. Okay. Make it easier. Help. Uh, anything else? Um, okay. not out of there. We just need oil and water which I'll have to get. So we're going to go ahead and bake up this cake. I'm going to check in with you guys. Don't watch the magic happen. <laughs> it smells amazing. Whoa. All right, so we got his cake in the oven, and now it's time for a bit of a confession. I'm still in my pajamas. It's 11.18, and I'm still in my pajamas. Austin's still in his pajamas, too. He's playing, um... What are you playing? Super Mario Maker. Super Mario Maker for the Wii U, but um, the confession is not that I'm in my pajamas, but that my morning routine lately has been completely off. In fact, my routine in general has been completely off. You'll notice, maybe, if you've been watching my videos for a while, that today's Wednesday. I didn't go grocery shopping this morning. Um, I have not gone grocery shopping on a Wednesday morning like I'm supposed to in a couple of weeks now. I've just been kind of going willy-nilly when I feel like it. I blame it on the weather. It, Michigan has finally entered winter a little late, but uh, no less harsh. It is so cold outside, windy, snowy, icy. I This is my first winter driving, so I have not driven on ice in the past, and it's intimidating and I don't want to do it, so I just haven't been. <laughs> uh, I've been, I was going to go shopping this morning, um, but then with Austin being home, I didn't want to, and it was just like, the excuse I needed not to go because I was already not looking forward to it because I didn't want to drive on the ice and the snow. But um, not just with my grocery shopping and like my errand routine, but my routine in general, like my cleaning routine has been off. My morning routine has been off. I have not been getting up and motivated and showered and dressed bright and early like usual. I've just been lazy. And I think it's the winter blues setting in. Um, this winter crap is just not my favorite. I'm not a big fan of winter. I just want to stay like cozy and curled up in my pajamas all day and clean when I want and not if I don't want and more often than not it's been that I don't want to so 
yeah, I've been off my game, but I have made up my mission to get back on track. So starting next week, I'm hopefully going to be back on track with my morning routine and getting things more back to normal. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue to do grocery shopping on Wednesdays because I've also been attempting to spend less and by shopping less often I feel like I will spend less. Obviously the more trips you make to the grocery store the more gas you're using and also the more opportunity for like impulse purchases so I might try going like twice a month instead of once a week. I haven't really figured it out yet. I guess it's just going to depend on um, how I'm feeling and the weather and the budget and everything but yeah that's my confession I've been lazy and I don't even really feel all that bad about it and that's just winter I blame it on winter um, it's 14 degrees outside right now I don't want to go out in that and you guys don't blame me do you so but Austin's cake is in the oven baking and I've um, got a little bit of time so I think I'm going to tidy up around here a little bit house is still in pretty good shape from you know yesterday's chores but I've got a load of laundry to put into the dryer and some laundry to put away and I got a vacuum and dust. Austin celebrating what's going on dude? I also wanted to say I blame you. You blame me for what? What were you just talking about? Oh for not going out in this cold weather? Yeah. What do you want to get dressed and go grocery shopping right now? Well it's my birthday so I don't have to. <laughs> I can't leave you here by yourself goofball. Well look who finally put herself together. Got dressed. Put a little makeup on. I feel so much better now that I'm up and motivated. It only took me all day. It is like one o'clock already and I'm just now getting ready. But I'm dressed and ready for my day now and Austin has gotten himself dressed as well. Though he's still in the same position he was in when you last saw him. Just playing video games. This is so hard. <laughs> Uh, the cakes came out of the oven lovely and they are cooling now. They're probably just about ready to decorate, honestly. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Can we decorate them? Eh, let's give it a few, another hour or so, and then we will decorate. Because they're still, they, they feel nice and cool here, but on the underside they are still a little Then so I'm going to start doing the sprinkles. I'm going to start off with the ones that they gave us. They are little circle ones and little like bead ones, I think. Mm -hmm. They're cold. And I'm just gonna sprinkle all over. So we've got a very sprinkled cake. And you love it? It looks amazing. Okay, that's all that matters. You're happy with your birthday cake. I think that's probably enough sprinkles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you did a great job decorating. Yeah. And here is Austin's finalized birthday cake. Sort of Christmas cake inspired. It is a Funfetti cake with red vanilla frosting and about a hundred million Christmas sprinkles. And there's sprinkles inside the cake too. Yeah, do you like it? Are you happy with it? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. Well, this mister's home from school. Hey, buddy. He got home, he finished up his homework. How was your day? Good. Pretty cold outside, huh? Yes. <laughs> You've been home for almost an hour and your cheeks are still red from being cold. Yeah. They've been right all day from the morning. Oh, that's too cold, huh? Yes. So, um, you got a couple chores to do, and then you are free to do whatever you wish, okay? Mm-hmm. Thanks, buddy. Oh, Did you tell your brother happy birthday? Yes, as soon as I came in the door, remember? Good job. Pretty excited about his birthday dinner tonight? He chose a good one. What did you choose for your birthday dinner, Austin? I chose your homemade big meatball, your oversized meatball. They taste like meatloaf there, but they're not as big as a typical meatloaf because they, um, <laughs> they, they're, because we each get one. Yes, they're oversized meatballs. And I'm also having scalloped potatoes and a salad. Good choice. I'm helping make. You're gonna help make the salad? Cool beans? I'm making the salad by myself. 
Okay. So are these just about the biggest meatballs you've ever seen? Austin weighed in and he wants one giant meatball per person. We're beating five. So we got five large meatballs. This is about just under two pounds of ground beef. So these are going to be huge and they're going to take forever to cook, but that's what he wanted. So that's what he's getting. Got some drop biscuits in the oven. I just looked up a quick recipe for those. Um, it was a last minute decision. They're like cheddar biscuits. Hopefully they turn out. If not, oh well. Austin's already gotten started on the salad. He's torn up all the lettuce for me. We just have to get the rest of the ingredients in. So we're moving along nicely. I need to get the scalloped potatoes prepped next, but they're just a box recipe, so this shouldn't take too long. We're just go we're gonna just gonna have carrots and tomatoes and lettuce because we don't have anything else really. Okay, go get your glasses on, buddy. All right. Well, here is Austin's birthday requested dinner. We've got the giant meatballs, which mine fell apart a little bit. The rest of them. Turned out pretty good. So um, mine, you said it was the best. All right, hold on. Salad, scallop potatoes, and these are those um, garlic drop biscuits, and I will leave the recipe for those down below. Apparently they're a big hit. Let me show you your plate. You there said you that mine looked the best, my meatball. Yep, you got the best meatball. <sighs> Birthday boy. Thanks. Yay! <laughs> you thinking about what you're gonna wish for, Austin? Uh -huh, I figured it out. I'll tell you if it doesn't come true. Okay. Or Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Austin. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> Yay! You're playing. Good job, buddy. Playing happy birthday. What is the game you're playing? Um, piano tiles. Okay. Two. Piano tiles, two. I have to click on all the squares. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Austin. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Austin. <laughs> you did really good. That's a pretty oh, neat good. game. Good job, buddy. I want to show you my high score on my high score on one of the songs. Okay. I just got new music. That was good. Let's see. Uh, so I go up. Wait, no, it's music, and it's up here. Jingle bells, and my high score is. 635 squares. Good job. All right, well, it is time to start getting ready for bed, but. I want to do a quick jingle bells. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Did you have a good birthday? Uh -huh, I don't want it to end. I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> All right, well, we can discuss that off camera. Do you want to say goodnight to the vlog and tell them thanks for watching and enjoying your birthday with you? <laughs> oh, I got 121. All right, say goodnight, buddy. Good night. Alright guys, well that is going to do it for the day. I think Austin had a really wonderful 8th birthday. Can't believe my baby is 8. His birthday always brings back so many memories for me of um, him being born and um, his diagnosis and everything. So um, I'm just really, really grateful that he's here with us and happy and healthy and wonderful. So uh, thank you so much for joining us for his 8th birthday. God, my kids are growing up so fast. Um, <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed celebrating with us, and I will be back with more vlogs soon. Bye, everyone.